Hey YouTubers, Easy is Pi here again with the Kawasaki 440. Today I will be going over the electrical diagram of these uh, engines and how everything's kind of hooked up. So I guess we can start with the battery. It's right there. You'll see on the negative side that uh, the engine basically serves as the ground. So you'll have one wire, which you'll see right here and that is attached to the engine and that serves as your ground for pretty much everything else. You'll see um, your starter here um, which is right down here. Um, it grounds itself to the engine. Um, you'll also see your electronic box, your e-box here, uh, grounds to the engine as well. And then you'll see a variety of other components ground. Of course, your spark plugs are grounded. That's how they work. So um, your starter uh, hooks up to the opposite side of the starter solenoid that um, your battery connects to. So you'll see the red terminal goes to one end of the solenoid and the starter goes to the opposite. So you can follow this red line here and it connects, you'll see it right down there, the red terminal and the opposite terminal. Uh, you can see that wire continue on back to the back side of the starter back there. So that's a pretty simple setup. Um, yeah, this is for the 550 actually, so you'll see the RPM limiter valve right here. I'll try and focus in on this a little bit better. Um, and that goes in on the e-box over here um, connects to your relay there's a whole bunch of other stuff going on in here you'll see um, your ignition module here um, splits off to your spark plugs which are these two right here you'll have your gray red uh, black or blue and blue and white I believe they are And then you'll also have a pair of wires, two pair of wires, I should say, going to, through to your pole. Um, and obviously, when you're taking a look, it'll be your two, your start and stop buttons. And that wire goes down through the pole, comes out down here and you can follow it all the way back into the control um, module here and that's these two pair of wires here, your orange and white which will be for your start switch and then your blue and black which will be for your stop switch and on your stock um, pull you're going to have a kill switch, your stop switch uh, which will be the blue and black here um, that's normally, I'm trying to think how that works, normally open until you press the button, unless you have the, um, the conversion kit which makes it normally closed and then you have the lanyard that keeps it open. So that's kind of how that works. Now you'll also see this bundle of wires going from your magneto, um, on the engine side to your e-box and you can actually see that bundle of wires it's down in here and it comes across and you can see it jump out right down here and it dives into uh, your e-box right about here and inside that um, that bundle you're going to find a brown, a red, and a gray wire and those are going uh, basically directly to your coil and to your spark plugs. Uh, that's how the magneto converts the magnetic energy into electrical energy and sends a spark uh, to your engine. And that's kind of the same area, obviously, where if you were to advance your timing, um, that, that would change how all that works. You'll also find um, oh, two light, or, uh, light green wires. Uh, that are going to your uh, 
charge regulator that's going to be recharging your battery as well inside this unit. And you can see all of that here. Um, this is the part that operates your spark plugs that goes to your coil and the portion that's recharging your battery. Now every one of these uh, black you know, uh, arrows going into a rectangle see here represent a connector that's contained within this uh, electrical box and if you go to my electrical connector um, fix video you'll see that whenever I take this apart there's a, a bullet connector uh, for each one of these wires in here so that's all those represent anytime you see these kind of fern patterns or these uh, Christmas tree so each time you see one of these just imagine an imaginary jumper that uh, goes from this point to this point um, now obviously there is no wire but the electricity travels through uh, the metal components of this engine as they're connected together so that's how that works and to finish this out I will basically just do kind of a, a steel shot of this entire layout um, that way if you need it you can just pause this video um, use it however you need here is the legend at the bottom you got your B's are brown, your BR or sorry, your B's are black, your BRs are brown. Um, B slash capital R looks like black and red. Uh, GY is gray. L is blue. LG light green. You kind of get the idea how this works and all of your wires in your engine compartment are color coordinated as well just to make this a little bit easier so if you're trying to figure out what goes where and you can get a hold of the raw wire itself you'll be able to figure out what's going on so just a reminder um, this outline section up here is all the components contained within your engine area all of the components contained within here are in your electrical box and these are the wires going up to your pole. Battery, starter, magneto, spark plugs, coil, relays, regulator, starter solenoid, and start-stop switch. So I hope this has been helpful for you to figure out how the electrical works in your 440 or 550 jet ski. If you have any comments or questions, throw it out there. Otherwise, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.